What is up my mother flingdingers? I hope you've been well. I am sorry I've been MIA for yet a long, another long period of time. It wasn't intentional. Before I jump into this long overdue massive thrift haul, vintage haul, I wanted to fill you in on where I've been and what I've been doing. I actually went on vacation to my hometown in Missouri a few weeks ago and that was lovely. As always, I got to see my family. They are my heart, my soul, and make me feel whole when I'm with them. As soon as I got back to Oregon, I was ready to fully tackle and get back in the groove of things. And um, that didn't happen because I got punched in the face with a sinus infection. I was honestly so sick to the point where I was just surrendering to it and stuck toilet paper in my nostrils and just was like, drain, drain on. Drain on. That was my life for like a week. My mom was very concerned every time she FaceTimed me thinking I was dying, so that was fun. Um, other than my camera died, but um, that's been my life recently. Also Mercury retrograde, also my mental health. But I'm back at it. I'm trying to focus on the things that make me happy, make me feel whole. So here I am with you all. <laughs> Let's get on into the haul because honestly, there's so many amazing finds that I found, obviously. And I'm really excited to share them with you. I got stuff from Buffalo Exchange, um, a few vintage items, um, and just regular thrift stores, baby. Let's get into it. Also, the only item I got that's not a clothing item must be shown. So I suppose I'll do it now. Hold on. If you've been watching me for a while, you know I have a hand and head obsession. So here's my new addition, my new hand. I'm sure she'll come in handy. <laughs> All right. The next bundle of goodies I actually picked up at Buffalo Exchange. They had their 45th anniversary little party get together thing and invited me. Everyone was invited, but um, they gave me a gift card and let me shop around and I was very, very excited about it. They always have tons of vintage goodness, but they had hand selected vintage goodies sitting out and I was in heaven. Their theme was kind of Western-esque, so my Midwestern heart was very happy. I found this really, really cute Western belt that has floral detailing. Obviously, it's super fantastic and looks amazing with a floral dress. I was very excited when I found this and it actually fit nicely. The thrift gods were definitely with me. I picked up this button-up denim blouse that has ruffle detailing, which kind of just gives me that Western that Western vibe. This you can style many different ways, which is why I fell in love with it. You could wear it open as a layering piece or button it up and make it fancy. So yeah, I absolutely adore this piece. The next item I picked up is this cream, flowy, airy blouse that is perfect for the springtime. I absolutely love the button up detailing in the back and the high neckline. I feel like this would be perfect for layering up or you could also, you know, just wear it on a nice, warm, breezy day. I fell in love with this little black, almost picnic-esque top. That's how I see it at least. It's a button up with the most adorable floral detailing ever. Very spring-esque. You could still wear black and be spring-esque, my friends. <laughs> you could do it, okay? Last but not least from Buffalo Exchange, I found yet another amazing pair of American Apparel jeans in perfect condition. Although they are men's jeans, I, I find that to be the perfect pair of boyfriend jeans, you know? Very excited about these, although they are a tad bit, tad bit long for me. They, they still looked cute cuffed, so didn't want to leave them behind, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so moving on to other goodies, thrifted vintage goodness, I got some, wait, I was wrong. I was wrong indeed. I also got this, um... okay, hear me out, okay? When I saw this, I thought, cartoon character, 90s Taco Bell seats, you know, like inside the Taco Bell meets, like, Miss Frizzle? 
from school bus, the magic school bus, is that her name? That's what I was thinking when I saw this and I had to try it on and when I tried it on I fell in love with it for some reason. So grasp that before I share it with you because it's definitely something out of my comfort zone but something I absolutely adore. So here we are. <laughs> so I thought, what the heck, I'm just going to do it. I'm, I'm going to broaden my horizons and push myself past my comfort zone and wear something a little funky, a little spunky, but still cute, you know. Let me know what you guys think about this, honestly, because I think it's oddly terrific. Another thing I find oddly terrific and I genuinely need your guys' help on because I don't know if I'm, if I'm going through some like quarter life crisis thing. I am turning 25 in May. <sighs> feels, feels weird, feels gross. I picked up this vintage dress in Missouri and my sister told me I looked like I was about ready to go to Sunday school. And I thought, take me. Who wants to take me to church? So this is definitely a sister wife meets Little House on the Prairie-esque dress that I find fantastic. And by the way, there's nothing wrong with being a sister wife. Is that If that's how you roll, you go girl. In all seriousness though, I genuinely love the skirt. So I think if anything, I'll definitely have a skirt out of this. <laughs> but yeah, looking back, I'm like, did I, did I really need to buy that? Probably not, but I did. So might as well do something with it. <sighs> so the next item I got is very spring-esque um, and honestly it's fruitastic. It's this fruit skirt. It has the apples, strawberries, and a pear on it with flowers. As soon as I swiped my card I realized that two of the buttons are missing so I'm going to do some DIY and just take the last two buttons off because I feel like, you know, who needs those last two buttons anyway? I like getting a nice breeze. So I'm just gonna take the last two off and put it up, them up here and voila. I also got the top that I'm wearing right now. It has little flowers on it, daisies in particular, which is why I got it. So the last item I'm going to be sharing with you guys is very spunky, but I was again in Missouri with my my niece, my sister, so I was in my aunt banana role, my aunt banana mode, and I just, I couldn't pass up this cat sweater when I saw it because it made me so happy. And sadly, tragically, Ridley didn't even recognize that these were cats because this is such a horrific sweater, but in the best of ways in my opinion. It's just so much, you know, and it smells so good like my mom's house. <laughs> I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know by giving it a big old thumbs up. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, which won't be long, I promise. I love you and have a wonderful day. He is beautiful. <laughs>